Hello everybody, welcome to a new installment of the Pimp Curl Diaries. I am ready to try again with a different technique this time. I have been collecting sponge rollers. And when I say collecting, I mean collecting. This particular store I buy them from only stocks four packets at a time. So whenever I walk past, I just buy all of them. <laughs> so I have all of these now. And I'm gonna try doing pink curls or kind of a wet set using rollers this time. Because I did the bobby pins last time and I have gotten some great tips to improve my technique on that as well. So I will probably be trying that again as well. But I wanted to give rollers a try this time because supposedly they are a little bit easier and quicker to use and they may be yeah, just quicker on my longer hair, because my hair is pretty long, longer than traditional 40s or 50s hair would have been. But here's the deal. I <laughs> I have to go somewhere tonight. And I do definitely want to give this the best shot these the best shot I can. So I do want to wear them overnight. But if I roll my hair in these now, I will have to go to this event with my hair in rollers. And I mean, it's not like it's something big. I ha I'm doing a first aid, kind of children's first aid course at scouting. Preferably I would not do it with, you know, a full set of rollers in my hair. And the thing um, does take long. I believe it ends at like 10.30 tonight. I have decided to do this in two parts. So first, now, I am going to unpack these and try them dry on my hair. So I'm just gonna kind of roll my hair in them, try and get a feel for how to put these in and see whether I have enough. Because if I find out I don't have enough, I can still visit the two or three stores in my neighborhood that should carry four packets of these. And then tonight, after I come home from the first aid course, I'm just gonna really quickly wet my hair with water and then setting lotion and roll them in again and then do the whole kind of sleeping on them and coming back tomorrow. So let's try and pop these in first, see how this works. I really do hope this is enough. All right, I've got my tea ready because I have a feeling this might take a while. I also think this will be a little bit harder to do dry than it would have been wet, but I'm just gonna try. Um, so I have been told that I can just do the exact same set as it were, when it comes to, you know, directions and sectioning and things like that, with really the only difference being I'm gonna roll into these rollers instead of, um, you know, pin curls. I think I'm gonna start experimenting with different sets once I get a technique that um, works for me. Down to here, let's clip this away. I'm gonna start at the front and work my way back because a few people have given me the tip. I'm not entirely sure how big my sections need to be for these rollers. So I'm gonna try something like this. How does this even work? All right. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna roll down, I think. And then fasten this clip. There we go. I'm wondering how uncomfortable this will be to sleep in. Because the foam itself is pretty soft, but then there's like this plasticky bit on the inside. Okay, this really is super easy to do. All right, front done. I look like a proper grandma already. <laughs> so what I can say so far is, well, yes, it is quicker and it is most definitely a lot less frustrating, but I'm guessing the real frustration with this one starts when I try to take it out. That's where it actually starts to get tricky because you cannot just pull these out of your hair with the pink curls. I just take my pins out and the curls just drop down and it's all good. Because these I will actually have to untwist manually in case I want to keep my hair, you know. It remains to be seen if by the end of this video I have a wet set or a buzz cut. I'm gonna continue doing the rest of my hair. I still have so many left. So at this point I'm thinking I probably do have enough, which is good. Alrighty guys, all my rollers are in and I actually have too many. So I can make my sections a little bit smaller when I try this for real tonight because I did make some 
pretty big like this one this one's pretty big and that might not dry um when i do this wet tonight so i'm gonna have two smaller sections tonight but now i need to practice taking these out because like i mentioned that's probably gonna be the biggest challenge <laughs> in this so i'm just gonna get started straight away undo all of my hard work that i just did and see how this goes That went pretty smoothly. I have the first one that got stuck. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you know what though? I can just pull out this plastic bit. Whoops. Oh, a little bit of hair did come out with that. And maybe this is a little bit easier to work with because it's soft now. Oh, all right. Oh, that wasn't as dramatic as I feared. Okay, that taking out the plastic is actually a really good idea. Makes it a lot easier to take out. Can you see how some of my hair, like the pieces that I rolled first, are already getting curled? That is so cool. Unrolling done. Didn't take that long at all. I'm actually pretty happy with it and I love how it kind of already curled my hair a little bit. So I do think this is gonna take a while tonight. It's gonna be a late one today. <laughs> But that's okay because tomorrow's a Saturday and I can just sleep in. Oh my gosh! <gasps> no, it curled my bangs! <laughs> okay, I do hope those still drop down because my bangs just look too short now. Alright, so I'm gonna go head to my first aid course and then when I come back I'm gonna just do all of this again with my setting lotion and water this time and then sleep on it and do the whole shebang. So I will see you tonight. Alright, it's done for real this time. I feel like Frenchie. <laughs> Much better roller management this time. I only have two left, so that is great. Um, it was a lot easier to do on damp hair. According to one of your guys' tips, I ended up mixing my setting lotion with a little bit of water so that I only have to use one spray bottle. And I feel like this was actually really, really quick. So let's see what the time is now. Oh! took about half an hour. That is actually really, really good. And definitely something I would be willing to do every now and then. So I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna um, try and sleep on these. <laughs> Hope I can sleep on these. I don't know how comfortable this will be. Gonna leave it in for as long as possible. And then I will come back to you to take them out, do the brush out and everything and see the results. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello everyone, it is now the next day, it is half past 11, so it's been about 10 and a half hours. So I'm happy to report my rollers survived and I sleep perfectly well, I didn't cover them with a scarf or anything. As far as the uncomfortableness of it all, I found it bearable, I have to say. I mean, I could definitely feel there was something there, I couldn't just lay my head down any way I wanted to, I had to kind of readjust, but I didn't wake up from it. Yeah, I didn't have much of a headache either when I woke up, so I'm. this is something I could get used to, I think. So it is time to take this off, let's get started! I am really excited to see what these curls look like and whether this has even dried at all, because I did twist it pretty tightly, so I hope it is dry through and through. Ooh, that's a tight curl. <gasps> Would you look at that? That is very promising. Okay. <laughs> Thoughts on the rollers so far? I feel like they fit my lifestyle better than doing pin curls by hand. First of all, in the sense that it is much easier and quicker, mostly, to get even curls with less effort. And, you know, as a millennial, all about the instant gratification, I like that. <laughs> Um, second thing I noticed, as you can see, I'm struggling with it here, is the challenge with this is definitely in taking the curls out. Whereas with hand-rolled pins, you kind of uh, put in more effort in the evening and then taking them out is super easy. This definitely takes more effort in the morning to truly get all of this out 
of your hair. Which actually is fine by me because I am a morning person. I am much more willing to put in that extra effort in the morning uh, as opposed to in the evening when I'm tired and all I want to do is just go to sleep. So that actually works for me really well. I do notice that I am losing a bit of hair because every time a hair gets caught or something, you're likely to snap it. So that's a definite downside of rollers versus just hand rolled pins. It's not a lot, but you know, a few hairs here and there. But all in all, I am very pleased so far with the results. And I am getting beautiful tight ringlets here, so I feel like this is gonna be a good brush out. All right, stage one, Shirley Temple hair, successful, super tight curls. Moving on to step two. Now, for my brush out this time, I'm gonna use your guys' tips again. So I'm gonna go straight in with my boar bristle brush. I'm not gonna bother with the teasing comb first. And I am going to keep on brushing for even longer because apparently I did stop too early last time, even though I said in the video that I was afraid I was overworking my curls and they were gonna start to drop. So apparently I can't overwork them. So I just need to keep going. And I'm gonna keep going even past the point when I feel like I have overworked it because if I do overwork it, you know, it's an experiment. We're gonna see what happens. So let's get started. I think I'm gonna start by running my fingers through this first. We're going straight in with the brush just in case there are any tangles. I always find it so funny how my hair goes super short when I do this. I don't think my curls have ever been this tight. I'm really excited to see the result with this. I think it's gonna take a long time today. Oh, by the way, I did end up rolling all of my curlers in um, kind of downwards, so everything is curled in the same direction this time. I'm not entirely sure why I did that, it wasn't really a conscious decision, I have to admit. Like I mentioned, I'm a morning person, it was really late last night, so it kind of just happened. But I'm hoping it won't matter too much and it will come together nicely anyway. We'll have to wait and see. Oh yes, this is exactly the type of disaster I need to make a good brush out, so I'm very happy with this. Slowly getting somewhere. I need a glass of water. Oh, my arms, guys. Beauty is pain. I'm gonna put on some music because this is gonna take a while. <laughs> It is two o'clock and I'm still not there. If I was a 1950s lady, I have no idea how I would do this. Feed my children, take them to school, clean the house, make dinner, <laughs> and just do anything else than sit here and brush my hair all day long. This is ridiculous. I now understand everything. This is my first proper wet set and the first time I'm actually battling the dragon that is a brush out. Now I understand the struggle that people talk about. Usually I would just kind of brush my hair through and it would be done in 15 minutes. This is something else entirely. Man, I am gonna have some biceps at the end of this. I am near despair at this point. It has taken so long. I have other things to do today besides just, you know, brushing my hair and everything. And I just, ugh. I am getting close, I do feel like I'm getting close, but it's just, I don't understand how people do this. And I also don't understand what I was doing all this time, because I have, I mean, I have done this so many times, but it was so different. This time is so different. Why are they still 
individual curls. Combine already! And look how short my hair is still. I'm so close to giving up. I don't want to give up, but I just... Oh, it hurts. My arms hurt. All right, I'm gonna try something. Products. I have been advised to use pomade. I don't have any pomade at hand currently. Maybe something for a future video, but I did find this wax of Robert's, <laughs> which could do the job. So I'm gonna try and get that in there because I'm about to go mad at this point. So I'm hoping this will help my curls combine more easily. No idea how much to use, but we'll see. All right, it's definitely less frizzy. So it did something. Now let's hope this was a good decision, not a bad one. <laughs> Ooh, I love the shine. I feel like it's still um, individual curls at the back. I can't really see there. I'm gonna have to walk over to the next room, but oh my gosh, I am so done with this. And it's still not there. I can see this individual curl right here. Why is this not working? Uh, oh my god. Guys, help. Send help. All right, guys. I admit defeat. I'm giving up. I cannot do this any longer. My question to you for this time is, at what point do you just, you know, throw in the towel, call it quits, and just give up? Because I know you should keep going, keep going, but honestly, three hours is a bit much, isn't it? Like, when do you just decide that this is not your day, it is not your best set, and it's probably not gonna work today? It is a quarter to three right now. Is it really? Yes, it actually is a quarter to three, and I started at half past eleven. <laughs> I just don't think it's gonna happen today and I don't know if it was my set and that I should have um, alternated directions you know and that everything being the same direction is the problem or if it is the rollers or my brushing technique or what else went wrong I just don't know um, all I know is this is it and I can't get it better than this so I think um, I'm gonna have to call it fail today even though I'm really sad and I wanted this to work so bad and there were some times when it looked better than it does now but I just I am just done <laughs> I just cannot keep going anymore so yes definitely not my best try even though my curls were so promising it is what it is unfortunately I do have this really cool little Superman curl on my forehead <laughs> a bit disappointed but Again, as always, very eager to hear your guys' tips uh, that you may have for me. Maybe it was just bad luck, maybe I need to change something. Do let me know. I will be back with more Pink Curl Diaries because as promising as this was, as you can clearly see, we are not there yet. I do think I'm gonna end this episode here because so many hours. <laughs> Thank you for sending all of your tips, they are very helpful. Looking forward to reading more. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more hair and beauty and lifestyle videos. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, there will be a link in the description box below. Thank you so much. There's another video here you may also enjoy, you can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. <laughs> Bye. Yep. Arr.